Yeah, well, Bianca and Steve, we're seeing increases across the board, especially for COVID and flu, according to the latest numbers. But according to some health officials, this is typical and we haven't reached the peak just yet. As the trifecta of respiratory viruses circulate in North Carolina, health systems are gearing up to protect workers in the triangle. If you're under under 12, we need to be much more careful about how you come into the hospital. Duke Health joins UNC Health and Wake Med in limiting visitors as COVID and flu are on the rise. More than 700 people being treated for the viruses as of December 23rd. It's the first time this season hospitals are treating more people for the flu than COVID-19. We usually do see boosts after uh, Thanksgiving, uh, at, uh, Christmas and New Year's, uh, religious ceremonies mixing, and I expect we'll be seeing more uh, cases next week. Dr. David Weber says at UNC Health, they're going back to masks as a way to reduce the spread. Children, especially at top of mind, as RSV also remains high. So RSV really has a predilection for making very young children under two years quite ill and older individuals as well. But generally, we have less capacity in terms of number of intensive care beds for children across the state than we do for all the different ICUs for handling older people. And it does become a burden on uh, those hospitals. The temporary restrictions will be in place unless health officials start to see a decline, which Dr. Cameron Wolf at Duke Health doesn't see anytime soon. I think a sort of a, an early indicator of when things are fading away is when those wastewater tests turn negative or when our people who come and visit urgent cares or primary cares and when that number starts falling, and unfortunately, that's still pretty much increasing. Now, keep in mind, the state's data is of last week, so we're still waiting to see what this week's impact will be. However, according to both health officials, we're in a better position. We're better protected than last season, so they encourage people to stay up to date on vaccines if possible. Reporting in Durham, Cindy Bates, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.